Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jeff Jones Customs. Um, today I'm working on the, the 54 and what I'm doing on it is disc brakes. And I got these off eBay, I think they came from Tom's Classics. But uh, the long and the short of it is, you, uh, you unbolt the backing plate. Um, from it's these four bolts right here 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 and here and then uh, then you bolt the, the steering arm back on with one of the bolts you took off to get the backing plate and all the brake stuff off and then you bolt on this bracket and then uh, then the rotor with the bearings the new rotor and the bearings go on here and then you connect up a new line with a banjo fitting bleed your, bleed your brakes and uh, you're back in business um, it it seems to be a pretty reasonable kit um both in price and fit i mean these this fit up could be a little better it took quite a bit of sanding to get it to fit in the bearing and uh they they have a big big portion of their three page instructions is is why these don't fit and i think if they don't fit it's not always stack up of the product you know tolerance stack up of you know the bearings a little bit off this is a little bit off i don't think it always is the problem but they have so much information on it it leads you to believe they always have this problem which leads me to believe that something needs to be made different probably this adapter but uh but other than that it wasn't too bad and uh it's going back together now and uh, I do have to, I do have to rebuild the, the idler arm in here. It's, uh, you can see this piece here moving. It's got a lot of play up at this end of it. But anyways, I um, thought I'd give you guys an update and uh, moving along on this thing, having some fun with it, driving it a lot, and uh, it does drive pretty good. It, it wanders a bit, and I think when I do that idler arm in there, it uh, it'll it'll smooth some of that out. But uh, anyways, once again, these came from I think Tom's Classics off eBay. And they were less than 400 bucks. I think they were in the 380 range. And uh, um, I have an email into them right now to find out what the rotors and the calipers came off of. It looks like normal GM, 80s GM stuff. And then that way, if I ever need replacement parts, I'll know what I can get. But uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. And uh, oh, probably go over to that thing in a minute and show you guys the vintage air i finished finished putting a condenser in and got it blowing cold got all the hoses connected up i haven't done the dash stuff but i'm gonna go over and pick up a dash for it in a little while i think and then i'll start doing the vents inside but anyways you guys have a great day thanks for watching if you like what you see leave a comment subscribe we'll talk to you later